the Tari, the king of all gutter rats in his gutter rat rats minions sneeze bro you are so far from being a person with money a person that's used to having money a person that usually getting money you are none of that absolutely none of that you are such a lion piece of dog crap I've ever seen or heard in my life, bro. You, 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 you are trying so hard to convince people that you, 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 you got money, or you have money, you got money, you got a house, you got cars, bro. <laughs> I've been doing this long enough. I've been listening to this stuff like people like you long enough to know that this is the easiest case ever going to have because you are the person that we call in the business that talk a big game but have never walked a big game, never been a big game. Ever. You have never, ever been in that situation of being in the situation when you got when you got good you got real money, real status, real toughness, and real people backing you. Cause saying that, yeah man, that dude right there, he's legit, bro. He got it, he cool the fan, he got money, he got nice cars. See, bro, you don't ever have that. Not one person on camera have ever said Tyree is balling out of control. Tyree is tough. Tyree is, is the man of the hour. I hear more about you being a gutter rat. Because you are nothing but a gutter rat. I just find it funny that you gutter rat and king gutter rat. Have not seen a single penny of all this money he say he got. All this money he say he he had before. All this this house and all these nice cars. Not a single picture. Nothing. Nothing. But you have these gutter rat followers. Because they are just as delusional and dumb as you are. Because they are, they had to be the top of the line dumbest people because they are allowing a, a, a king gutter rat lie to them straight to their face and believe it. We we watch these stupid videos you do and talk all this. You are the biggest pussy on the planet. What have you ever done tough wise? You haven't done nothing, bro. You got a hunchback. You got a strength, uh, a, a freaking uh, tramp stamp on your back, and then you got those stupid looking tattoos on your on your chest and stuff. You 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 get false teeth. Then you got and then you, you 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 pick your nose like it's going out of style, like your nose about to fall off, and you ain't gonna ever get it again. You are the epitome of a wannabe tough guy. I have never heard a real tough man say, I'm a, I didn't hit him back because a chick told me not to hit him back. A chick told you not to hit him back. Hmm. Say that to yourself. Say that. Go and look in the mirror and say, Ashley told me not to hit him back. Do that make any sense whatsoever? Do that sound remotely tough? Nah. Do you know it don't, bro? Stop it. You just got your tail whooped. And you're making excuses like always. You are the biggest crybaby 
bitch on the planet. Let's call it what it is. You are a crybaby pussy bitch that don't don't that don't have no toughness in in your body. You cry about Ashley. You talk about her, but then you try to get right back with her by saying this or that, this or that. See, I know what you do. Your best your best quality of you is you run your mouth and you and you tell on yourself. And that's why I'm always say you are the easiest case I have ever dealt with. Easiest. You literally literally run your mouth too much and then second the only thing you tough at is women 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 i'll tell you straight up bro my wife will whoop your tail and that's real talk bro and she ain't no bodybuilder she ain't no goddamn Six four, three hundred pound woman. No, she's five seven and, and and luscious and beautiful, curvy and beautiful. But she will pick her hair up and whoop you, bro. Whoop you. That's of course after I whoop you first. Cause then if I see you put your hands on my wife, I I, I have to kill you. Real talk. So I'm not afraid to go to go to jail, prison, whatever you want to call it. See, you, you, it's called silent confidence. I'm not talking like I'm the biggest, baddest dude walking, but I will tell you this: I'm a very confident man, and what I can do and what I can't do. What about you? Yeah, cause you're a gutter rat. Gutter rats are scared as piss. Scared of everything. A gutter rat tell people, oh, go pull up on me, pull up on me. I'm gonna slap people when I You haven't slapped a freaking um a freaking dandelion, let alone a, another man. I don't, I don't want that right now. I don't want it right now. Sorry about that. No I mean it. Anyway, you are the easiest, easiest dude that I have ever had to deal with. Easiest by far. I'm talking about I had I had cases with women that was harder than you. I mean, bro. You are such a sorry excuse. Bro, you are you just the worst you just worst case I have ever seen or dealt with in that area of do we take him serious? Or is he just all talk? And kinda of find out Bro, you ain't nothing but talk. You haven't fought nobody in how many years? You haven't done nothing to nobody. You haven't even haven't even fought play fight anybody because you're too scared. Scared of the church mice. Back to what I'm saying. Bro. You only a coward with 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 pick on a woman. Tell a woman she ain't this, she ain't that. She ain't this, she ain't that. Get the, get the hammer for me. And you only, only talk tough. Talk tough to to, to um, women. Oh, 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 I forgot. You do talk tough to um, black people when you call them the N-word, but you say it real quiet. And you and you looking around to make sure they didn't hear you. And then you say again, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I I ain't playing around with them. I ain't playing around with them, man. Yeah, you know, I bring it. Yeah, but you you call us the N-word very quietly, and then you look around like, oh, make sure he ain't hear me. Make sure they didn't hear me. Then you be like, Yeah, I ain't playing around. Then you look again, make sure he really ain't following you. 
see, that's what that's what cowards do. That's what that's why all racist people are cowards. I haven't seen one racist tough guy. You know why? Because you're not. Y'all a bunch of bitches. That's all y'all are. That's why when I beat you down, ain't nobody gonna feel sorry for your punk butt. Nobody. Hell, I'll probably get a medal for beating you down. And you know what, bro? I'm not even going to punch you. I'm going to slap the piss out of you. You ain't worthy of somebody punching you. You're too soft for that. Because I know as soon as I get done whooping you, you go call the police or something. And cry like a little punk. Yo, oh, yeah, you're the thug. I said, God, keep up again, bro. You're a thug. Thugs don't call cops. Thugs don't know the, um, don't know the, um, the justice system. Thugs are thugs. That's why they thugs. Oh, dang it. I forgot, Tyrant. I forgot gutter rat. You do know all the court system. I haven't seen nobody in my life know, <laughs> know the, the justice system inside and out. What thug? What thug? <laughs> say, say, I'm getting cyber bullied. <laughs> Cyber bully. <laughs> Bro. You are a thug. Remember. Remember that, bro. You are a thug. Thugs don't talk about getting cyber bullied. Thugs don't talk about getting cyber bullied. Ain't that right, my baby? Right. My... <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's even make you even sissy fighter is get that right. You know, it makes it even worse. My wife has never called the cops ever, ever. I don't know how many times she fought people, chicks, testing her. Not once ever called the cops. Not one time. Not one time. And look at you. Little pussy. The only thing you do is call the cops. And then, then you know what you do? You think you're tough by you be uh, getting all big and tough on this, on the freaking uh, on YouTube, bro. You sound stupider. Cause you know what? The people that ain't dumb knows knows everything about your sorry, but it ain't scared to. Uh, they all know that you're, a big, you're the biggest pussy on this planet. You talk more trash. Hell, my mother-in-law got more, got more balls than you do. Hell, at least my mother-in-law ain't a little tougher than you. Little pussy. I can't wait to beat you down, bro. I can't wait. You gonna get it, get it good, bro. You and your minions. And now, and your little minions. Y'all losers. Y'all lose. Y'all more. Y'all y'all bigger losers than he is. Cause you 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 know why? Because he got y'all following him. He got y'all following him. And and believing his. Believing he um. Y'all believe his his garbage he's spilling out to y'all. He literally got y'all thinking he's tough too. Then y'all take up for him. They're like, yeah, Tyree. You okay, Tyree? You okay? You okay? Get the F out of here. You okay? You okay, Tyree? You okay? You okay? No, God dang well, that, 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 his music is terrible. Horrible. Horrible. Jesus. I had to tell my wife to stop listening to it. She's about to have a seizure. Oh, you, you know, oh, that is right. My wife did have a seizure the next day after listening to you. Jesus Christ, man. You better you better get out that business, bro. You go, you hurting people. You're going to get sued for having the worst, worst music on the planet. Bro, do you understand that? 
You are going to go to prison for having the worst music in the world. You go to court and, and you go try to act like a little pussy. I'm, judge. I'm sorry, judge. I just like making my music. You know what I mean? You know what I mean, judge? I'm just real, judge. I'm just real. He gonna say, gutter rat. You ain't real. You about as real as freaking um, <laughs> blade chasing um, vampires. Bro, you, 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 you. Bro, I, I should sue you for making my wife have a seizure. She's sitting there having a, having just a pleasant, pleasant time laying down. And, and, and here you go with this crappy music. Crappy music. And I said, no. Bam. I can't. And my wife is having a problem. I had to hurry up and turn that gutter gutter rap music off because we all joking about it, laughing about it. And lo and behold, you get the last laugh because you got the worst music in, on the planet. You're like, ha, ha, ha. My music is real, son. Real, son. It is good and terrible, bro. I'll say it again. Good and terrible. Good and terrible. One more time. Good, good, terrible. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? As, as you say, people, people out here uh, on you hard because they they know they know you hard as nails. You hard as nails. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, right. Thumb tack nails. That's all you good for is tacking up papers. Bro, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, son, if I hear that crap of music again, I'm going to go to my, my boss and, and just tell him we about to put that dude in prison. He's out there spreading terroristic, terroristic things. So that's it. That is it. Bro, you 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 are a magical guy. You are magical, bro. I say this because you are graceful with all the terrible music you 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 you, you say you put out. You say you're good at. You are terrible, bro. Do you know that you? From one song to the next does not sound no different. Bro. And you can't sing, man. And second, two things, bro. One, you, you keep talking bad about my about the man above. You got more you got more than me just to worry about. You gonna have a crazy lunatic run up on you and blow your mother effing brains out. That's what's gonna to happen to you. You hear me, bro? You're gonna get going get walked up on. A person gonna say, This is for Jesus, and blow your brains out. Cause you know why? You don't mess with that stuff. You leave that alone, bro. It's like you're supposed to leave racism alone. But no, not you. Not you. Not the Tef Gari. Tyree the gutter rat. Not you. You think it's cool. You think it's cool that you talking about the man above and he's the devil and 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 you the chosen one. What? Chosen to pick up your nose the best? Chosen to um to lead gutter rats to the to the to the um death? Yeah, that's about that's that's about that's about right with you, bro. You 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 bro, I I I I like I tell you and I tell your other gutter rats. Y'all have messed with the wrong one, bro. And like I said before, I'm not bragging. I'm not. I'm not Tyree. I ain't bragging about every little thing I do, or or those people that they freaking do something for for somebody. They want to put it all on Facebook and tell everybody their mama what they did. Like I have a, you know, I'm gonna go. Off, I'm gonna go off key right quick. Trust me. You know I love talking about you gutter rats. So you know I'm coming back. Well, I have a cousin. I have, you know, well, we family, we, you know, 20 plus years. 
you know, we, we, I'm cool, but one day, my wife going on Facebook, and she says, look at this, I ain't gonna tell his name, because I, I ain't gonna put him out like that, but, the dude put this homeless man on, 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 on camera, now, the reason why I say I don't like it, I don't, I don't like people that boast about every little thing they do, is for a couple of reasons, one, Sometimes you boast about something, you're going to get what you was looking for. And sometimes you're going to get something that you wasn't looking for. So I'm saying this because this dude, this homeless man was at the hot dog shop. You know, he was hungry, of course, you know. So my friend sees it, sees it and say, Hey, man, go over to the other store, and I'll bring you something to eat. Now, mind you, he's saying all this live on Facebook. Everybody might want to see it. And I'm watching this, so I'm expecting him to bring this man at least, at least three or four hot dogs, man. Some fries, family fry, and the biggest thing of water you can possibly get, you know. Because obviously he hungry. You know what I mean? Hook him up. So anyway. My. My, 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 my dude. Went over there. To the store. All on Facebook saying. Yeah I, had to, I can't let him go hungry. I got to get him something. You know. I got to get him something. So I'm like. Alright. This dude about to hook this dude up. So. He hands him the box. And if this dude got this homeless man one funky hot dog, one 69 cent hot dog, no, no, no fries, no drink, a single hot dog. And it was on Facebook gloating about it like he does cure polio. And I thought I was seeing things like, wait a minute. This dude only gave him a, a, a single hot dog. A single hot dog. People, a single hot dog. And then was bragging about it for like the next 10, 15 minutes. Like, oh man, you know, I just had to help him. I can't let that happen. I can't let that go. I can't. I just got paid. You know, I just got paid. So, you know, I'm going to help him. I'm going to hook him up. Now, is it me or if I'm wrong for saying, bro, keep that mother effing hot dog to yourself. Especially if you're going to you're gonna pit the homeless man on blast, telling everybody and their mama that he's homeless and hungry. First of all, that was, a, that was a, the first mistake he made. Pitting this man's business out there. He already probably feel bad enough for being homeless. You know, he probably bad enough on that. Then to top, then to top it off, you pit him on blast, telling everybody, "Mama, you helping him out, and you ain't letting him go hungry." And you give this man a funky hot dog with ketchup and mustard, on, not even chili and cheese on it. This. A single hot dog with ketchup and mustard on it. Now, I'll call me what you want. Tell me what you want. But I don't think a single hot dog is doing nothing. He probably didn't even taste that hot dog. He probably ate that hot dog so fast, he didn't even taste it. If you outside of a, 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 a restaurant trying to get money to eat you are trying to get at least enough money for maybe two you know you, you're trying to get at least two and let's be clear I'm not I'm not mad that he he didn't give him enough well actually I am I'm just being honest I am I'm, I, it, it pissed me off that he gave this dude a single hot dog but what I'm mad about is he didn't have to tell everybody. 
He did it. Everybody, you know what I mean? Everybody in this world always got to be recognized for something. Everybody got to be recognized for doing something, saying something, trying something. Everybody got to be recognized. And it, it irks me so bad because you don't know how many times I help people that I never, ever want people to know about. Because you know what, man? In this world, people looking for the big, the big blessings from from Almighty. They're looking for the big blessings and, and oh my God, man, he ain't, he ain't helping me. Why ain't God ain't helping me? But you seem to forget that all the little blessings he's been doing, doing for you, you know, helping somebody, maybe somebody see you struggling, need gas money. They break you off five, ten dollars of gas. There you go. That's a, that's a small blessing. And you, you, you got to stop people, especially this day and age, are looking for the big blessings, you know, and it's like the little blessings will go right past you, go right past you. So the moral to the story is be careful what you wish for, because everything you do, you might think is good, but somebody else might look at it as you being a prick, a loser, a gutter rat. So back on you, you and your flunkies. Bro, you are soft. You are soft. You are pussyfied. You can't fight. And you are broke. You are broke. Nobody that has good money be happy about getting a check on the 19th. Or getting or, or, or having a couple of dollars in your pocket. I never seen a millionaire in my life count out twenties and ones in my life. Bro, stop. Well, don't stop until I get to you. Then you can do whatever you want after that. But your butt has dug yourself such a hole with all your lies and lies and lies. That you can't help yourself but keep telling lies. You are happy about living in a goddamn hotel room. A hotel room. A crappy one at that. You think. You think. That you are going to get. All this publicity and everybody going to love you. And you got. A hotel room with a big 27 inch old school TV. Bye-bye. You happy about it? Happy about it? I never seen that in my life, bro. Never. Ever in my life. And that's just unbelievable to me, bro. I'm going to end it with this. Like I always say, show up. I'm coming for you. You and your gutter rats. You're nothing but a complete loser. And once again, stop digging up your nose, idiot.